Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. I'm going to show you something really cool. I kind of hinted at this in a previous video and I said, wow, I heard there is a make your own surprise egg kit for sale. I just happened to stumble on it on Amazon because if you go to Amazon, okay, you didn't hear this from me, but if you go to Amazon and you start looking for surprise eggs and stuff, you will find them on Amazon. And my disclaimer here is, yes, you will find surprise eggs on Amazon, but they are not supposed to be sold in the U.S., and they are not even legal in the U.S., and if you get caught importing them, you will probably get in trouble. There's a big fine for bringing in Kinder Surprise Eggs or Surprise Eggs. But still, I find these for sale on Amazon and other online retailers, and they will ship to the U.S., but I'm not saying to do it because it's not legal. I'm just saying there's a lot of things like that that happen in this world, okay? So I was going to do a documentary video about Kinder Surprise Eggs. No one in America knows what they are, and you can't buy them here, but you can order them online, and sometimes they will get through. Am I ever going to finish that documentary video? Well, maybe, but you know how things are. I got so many other things going on. Then I stumble on this. It's called the Surprise Egg Maker by John Adams. And it was around $100, I think $99. Make your own surprise eggs at home. Melt, mold, and wrap your own surprise golden eggs. Because it comes in a golden foil. Get it? Golden eggs. Ages six and up. Well, yeah, I guess six under adult supervision. From the back of the package, it says... Safely melt chocolate and pour into specially designed hollow egg and ball molds. Choose a surprise toy, secret message, put it inside, seal together... And use the magical wrapper to wrap your chocolate surprise. I mean, this looks really cool. And for $100, if I could make my own Kinder Surprise Eggs, hey, I'm down with that. Great. But if you wonder why the title of this video says fail, well, I'll tell you why the title says fail. Number one, the first failure was it arrived. It shipped from London. And then I said, man, the first thing I'm going to have to do is get one of those adapters so I can plug in the, the kind of outlets they use there in England and London so it can plug into a U.S. outlet. Now, in my defense, I had not yet opened this box yet, so I went to Kroger and I spent $12 on one of those travel plug things that was reversible, because yeah, if I get this, i got to be able to plug it in, right? I finally get this open, and I didn't open it right away, because I was planning to go to Hawaii. We went to Hawaii, we came back, had a lot of stuff going on, just didn't get around to it, so I opened it up, and I said, wait a minute, this doesn't even plug into the wall, I never needed a plug-in thing anyways. Oh, man, so that was a first fail. There's one more side fail on there, because if you remember... I had this before I went to Hawaii. I bought that plug before I went to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii, and I needed that plug, but I didn't bring it with me. Why did I need that plug, you ask? Well, no, they have the right kind of plugs in Hawaii as they do in the U.S., the whole same plugs. But I have a Japanese camera, and my Japanese slow-motion camera needs an adapter, and I forgot the one built into the plug for that. So while in Hawaii, I had to go to the ABC store and buy another plug adapter, and you will laugh. There's a lot of Japanese tourists come there to Hawaii, so you have a lot of stuff already set up for Japan, right? The same plug that I think I got at Kroger for somewhere between $12.79 and $19, that same adapter universal plug, I got it at the ABC store in Hawaii for $3. So first off, I never needed to buy an adapter for this, but if I had, I should have bought it in Hawaii instead of here. It would have saved me a lot of money. Now back to the real point, this is a fail. This is a fail because of the way the chocolate melts. This is a fail because you have to kind of melt it and glue it together, so to speak. It's a fail because this takes a lot of practice. And it's a fail because my lovely assistant and I are just failures at this. Will we always be failures? No. We will practice. I will have her practice. I will practice. We will be able to show you some amazing homemade surprise eggs that you can make yourself. And really, after you have seen this set, and how they are made, you can probably make your own Kinder Surprise Eggs at home without ever buying this set. It's really that simple. The basic parts of this set is you have the molds for the eggshells, you have the little container for the toy on the inside, you have the tools you need, and you have the wrapper. Could you get by without an automatic wrapper? Yeah, you can just wrap that on by hand. Can you get by without these molds? Yes, if you can find something else to make your own molds out of. That might take a little work to find the proper molds, but once you do that, bam. You're golden. How is it that you can melt chocolate without plugging it in? You use warm water. You fill the container with warm water. It becomes a bowl. It melts the chocolate. You make the mold. You open it up. Bam! And then you use this other little thing with warm water in it to melt it together. Don't try this at home, but next time I am going to cheat. I'm going to actually take the chocolate, put it in the microwave, and melt it that way. I don't want it so hot that it will melt my molds. But really, the water only stays warm for so long, and yeah, you don't have a 
a lot of time to make these. And by looking at what we're making here, you can see how easy it is to fail out this. And it's going to take some practice. But after you have the practice done and you know what you're doing, there's some amazing things you can do. Kinder Surprise ain't got nothing on you. You could take and fill it with anything you wanted from a prank to fill it with a, put a bug in. The, well, okay, we'll, we'll talk about that later because I have some great videos planned and some other cool videos already filmed. So you want to ask, is this really worth $100? Well, it's like this. The information and the knowledge contained in this is worth $100. Are all the components and parts worth $100? Of course not. But the information in here was definitely worth $100. This set teaches you how to make your own surprise egg. You can make your own surprise egg even without this set. But at least for myself, I needed the knowledge that came in this set to teach me how to make my own surprise egg. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. One of the things that's very cool about this set is the chocolate. What are you going to make the egg out of? Well, you can get those little Hershey's Kisses. You can get the white chocolate, the peanut butter, the butterscotch, the chocolate, the dark chocolate, and you can use that as your base for your eggs. You can have all kinds of flavors. Or you can melt candy bars, a little Hershey bar, a little this kind of bar. You can make custom surprise eggs. If you remember, I had those SpongeBob surprise eggs, which came from Austria, and half of them were white chocolate and half was just milk chocolate. Unlike the Kinder Surprise, which has the milk chocolate on the outside and the white chocolate on the inside, those SpongeBob eggs were half and half. With this, you can do, I want half peanut butter and I want half chocolate. I want half white chocolate and I want half butterscotch. You can do anything you want. It's super customizable. Is that a word, customizable? Is this video a fail? Well, the video may not necessarily be a fail, but trying to figure out how to use this set, that was a fail. Are my surprise eggs a fail? Yes. Are these diamond earrings that I got to put in there, were they a fail? Yes, they were. Does this thing I made even look like a surprise egg or a surprise ball? Not really. But we will take the knowledge and the skills we have learned from this failure and we will make really cool ones, which in turn will make really cool videos and we don't need to buy illegal surprise eggs. We can make our own. Wait, that didn't come out right, did it? Because really, are they illegal if you make them yourself? 
I, I, I don't know. I don't have the answer for that. Because you can't import them because of the law. But does it say you can't have them? Yeah, I don't know. You certainly probably... Yeah, you probably can't. But I guess what you could do, which they would be legal, is don't put a toy inside. Put another piece of candy. So make your surprise egg and put a Hershey's Kiss inside. Not in the wrapper. Or put M&M's inside. Not in the wrapper. And for those of you watching this video who live outside the United States who had no idea that we have never heard of a Kinder Surprise Egg or that Kinder Surprise Eggs have been illegal in the United States since 1938, that's why we got to make our own. We can't just run down to the corner store or to the supermarket or Kroger's and buy them because they're not legal here because apparently we will choke on them and we will die. Ack.
And to me, the real reason why we cannot buy them here in the United States has nothing to do with a choking hazard. It has to do with protectionism and the government making law to protect domestic chocolate manufacturers from foreign chocolate manufacturers. Because remember, Kinder Surprise eggs come from Italy, and then all these other countries make them too. But Kinder is an Italian company, and we have to protect Hershey's and American companies from the evil chocolate of a Italian company. Apparently that's the deal. And then we can't fight against it here in the U.S. because we don't even know those cool things exist. So then I'm stuck buying a $100 make-it-yourself kit on the internet, and then I realize, really, I could make them myself without a $100 kit. Am I glad I bought this? Well, yeah, I'm glad I bought it. Would I buy it again? Yeah. Do I wish it was electric and melted the chocolate for me? Yeah, I really wish that too. But I got a microwave. I can melt my own chocolate. I can figure this out. I really wish it came with more molds. But now that I see what they use for molds, I will find my own molds or make my own molds. Or I'll do something. We'll get some really cool videos. All right, so what do you think? Have you ever heard of a Kinder Surprise Egg? Well, if you live in the United States, you may or may not have. If you live outside the United States, you'll say, of course we have. I'm not stupid. I know what a surprise egg is. But here in the U.S., we don't know what surprise eggs are. Now, with that said, have you heard of your own surprise egg maker to make your own surprise eggs at home? Whether you live in the U.S. or in a different country, did you know you can make them at home? You don't have to go buy your own. You can put your own toys in there. You can go buy your Kinder Surprise Eggs. And you can get the toys out of there and put them in your own surprise eggs. Or there's something I'm going to show you in a later video that will be even more amazing. And you're going to say, well, I already knew that. Yeah, but we didn't know it in the U.S. because we don't have surprise eggs. So today we had a fail video of the John Adams Surprise Egg Maker. Melt mold. Wrap your own surprise golden eggs. Well, it's because it comes with gold foil. You can put any kind of foil you want to on there. Any kind of toy you want to in there, you can put diamond earrings in there, fake bugs a prank, anything you want to. Age is six and up. It cost me $100. It was shipped from London. Chocolate not included. Make sure it says, requires approximately 130 grams of chocolate, blah, blah, accessory package, chocolate, chocolate not included. For 100 bucks, you'd think they'd toss in some chocolate, right? And yes, this is a fail video, and yes, I suck at making surprise eggs, but I assure you in a future video I will not suck as badly at making surprise eggs. Leave the comments in the comment section. And hey, is this cool or not? Would you love to do this at home or not? Yeah, you would. So leave the comments in the comment section, and as always, thanks for watching. Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.